Hi, welcome to What Remains. My name's Pete and on this episode we have come through to North Wales. It's a good four hour drive from where I live so I've made a bit of an expedition and we are going to be exploring a time capsule type farm. Now if you've not seen my Sunderland Wick farm there was a spectacular find there for the old bellows for the blacksmiths and the blacksmith building. This is like a hundred years ago. I'm not joking. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to walk you into the rooms exactly as I see them. And then I'll put the lights on just to give you a bit more definition. So to give you a bit of perspective where you are, we are high up in the hills. And this is how overgrown the farm building is. As you can see, there's really not a lot to see. This is our path in. And our first room is on the left. Now I suspect this may well have been a food preparation type area. We have got, because we're in Wales, instead of sandstone, we have a huge plinth made of slate. Underneath there we've got milk churns. I have looked to see if there's any maker's brands on those, but there isn't. And then we've got the chimney breast here. And if we look into the bottom of that chimney breast there, we can see the old oven, the stove, the fire, and then we've got another seating area possibly around there. Now that's not even half of what's here. As we actually go through to the house that remains, I'm hoping the lighting is enough. There we go. Look at this. Now I know some of that's in darkness for you. But I can see perfectly well, and I will be putting the light on for you. But I want you to see the effect that I'm getting. Now this is the sitting room area. And that's the door. I'm going to put the light on now. The big old wooden door, and then we've got this shield in here. To prevent the outside weather pouring straight into the house. And into... The fireplace down there. Now if you look at this we've still got the old rice tin there, the fireplace, looks like Mellard Abilie, the makers of this, Dale's Excelsior and then if you go over to the Shelving again, we can see the old bottles there, the old milk bottles, Heinz vinegar, and some remains of what was once possibly a book cupboard, which you still get these in modern, back, well, say modern, in the back to back houses, those cupboards. So, as we've come through there, we've got a room on our left. This could well have been. A bedroom. Again, we've got old bottles everywhere, an old clear one there. So we have a look at the bottom of that. No maker's mark. And then old bottles up on the shelving unit there with some liquids in. Now that you might notice there's a doorway there that's blocked up because on the side other side of that is really something quite unique and special, and I can't wait to show you that. Again this door, well I'm going to put you at eye height I have to crouch down to get through that door the floor's stone flagged and then we go through to what I think actually is the bedroom big old wooden door, again I'm having to duck down and we've still got a picture on the wall down there. Who knows how long this has been stood like this, abandoned and empty. Maybe this hoover with the Bakelite plug will give you some indication. Bakelite switches are all high up, so they're trying to save up on the copper wiring. Got horsehair plaster ceiling. And very, very old dated pictures whoever they are 
two swallows on a ten or a swallow on a windmill bluebird sorry bluebird toffee and then here we've got some kind of lantern that plugs into the light and we've got military photo there I hope you can see that maybe identify the uniform and more family photographs so whoever did live here lived here for a long long time and there's a the wardrobe and some things I'm going to turn the light off now just so that you can get the atmosphere and I mean it feels absolutely lovely and wonderful and what a beautiful location and building absolutely incredible now that is inside the house outside there are some milking sheds there isn't really a great deal to see there um, they're fairly modernish I say modern they're not modern at all but they're a lot newer than this but there's nothing in there to see maybe a feeder trough made out of galvanized steel um, if you want to know what that is go back and watch my Sunderland Wick farm and next door is really quite a special part of this farm and I cannot wait to take you in there so let's get over there now so right there behind me you can see this door that is really quite unique quite special I've only seen this twice before on an old farm it is the remaining blacksmith's building and again I'm going to show you this as I see it when I walk in with the lighting we just pop our finger through there lift the latch open the door it's quite a step up there is a bit of a land erosion hopefully the camera is going to adjust its light and we've got a path through the center there is a fair bit of light leaking into here there we've got an animal trap hanging but through there you can see the fire so that is where there would have been heating and cooking possibly as well but really heating up a lot of the products to keep them warm now I don't see any bellows in here but what we do see is this old what I would suggest is for cooling down the water it's lined the jacket probably had water in there to stop fractures and we've got a tap down here maybe it was a heater and galvanized barrel old pair of shoes down there or an old shoe now I'm going to put the light on because look at this we've got old genuine Massey Harris spare parts nothing behind there that's where that room is where the doors blocked up but look at this that we've got the old wheel and as you would expect still functioning cupboard looks like a cycle bell of some description old oil cans hopefully somebody would know what that is our ear tags there and look at this saw here just hanging you need to be careful not to get that more barrels we've got wooden barrels here and then we go through to the back this is potentially where it's storing things we've got another slate bench there and another slate bench there now this for me is incredibly exciting to see this I, I can't believe it I really can't and I feel absolutely privileged to be able to come here and see this old gas oil lantern there look and another oil lantern there and an old hand drill now I need to be careful of that saw because that just caught my bag and I don't want to bring it down on me now I've been very excited to come here and show you this farm I hope you've enjoyed it as much as what I have some very very special finds here and it is almost like it was a hundred years ago you could imagine these people living in poverty for the landowners while well, they took all the profits and yet they lived on on the bread line now the blacksmiths is quite an unusual and special find for this building 
uh, and that's what I, I really, really, really enjoyed being able to show you. So if you've enjoyed it, please stay tuned. There are other videos coming on all sorts of topics. I cover everything I possibly can that I find interesting, and I hope you do too. Please take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.